Hey, what's going on, family? I have a challenge for you. This weekend, a number of us are going to embark on a 36-hour fast. Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? So the reason for this is I've been doing some more research on the benefits of fasting as I've generally kind of been a not, I've been like an anti-fasting person, like no, 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 no. And I've actually found it to have some really good benefits just overall health, but also in helping us mentally control our food. So I actually do intermittent fast. I generally eat between 10 a.m., 10 p.m., or you know some level of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Or and I, I vary it up a little bit. Sometimes I go 16 hours off. Sometimes I only go eight, 10 hours off. But every now and again, it's good to do like a 36-hour full cleanse, water, tea, coffee. So I challenge you this weekend, Saturday night of the fourth, to not eat all Sunday and take off Monday morning. So if you stop eating, say, 10 p.m. on Saturday to not eat again Monday morning at 10. And if you feel like that's a big stretch, then let's take it down to Sunday at 10 p.m. and make it 24 hours, okay? I'm going to do this right along with you. So I will post on Sunday griping about, about it, but maybe not so much. I've done 36 hour fast a few times and it's really not that bad, at least not to me. A lot of the hunger that you face is mental. It's your tongue, your mind wanting to eat a particular thing, but not that your stomach's necessarily all too hungry. So this is a great mental challenge to be able to do that. And I dare you to find three occurrences in the month of July to do this, okay? I will document it every time I do it. I challenge you to do it. I hope you accept.